Hi, this video is to show you how to create uh, and set up the asset tracking inside Scissortail. I've logged into the demo company as Kathy Watts, and she is the director of payroll and HR for uh, the demo company. And in order to set up assets and assets and attach them to the employees, um, first you need to set up asset types. So let's go to the hamburger and let's type in assets. Uh, asset types. There we go. And I click on that and when it pulls it up, we've got several assets that are listed in our system. But if we need to add new things, let's say we want to add key fobs. I'm just going to click the add new and I'm going to type in here key fob. And if I want to allow multiples to be assigned to multiple employees, I'm going to check that box. Um, or if I wanted to put uh, child assets underneath the key fob, I could check this box. Um, we can collect certain information. You can see that we've got a collect column and a required column. We can um, determine what is going to be required and what is not going to be required just by checking this box. So let's say um, we want a uh, serial number to be required for this key fob and um, then we also have the ability to put in any custom information. Um, we can say, um, you know, why are they receiving the key fob, or um, is this a, a master or branch item? You know, so we'll say for the branch or location. We want to collect that information. So when I say save, then I come back to my list. You can see the key fob has been added. So next, I'm going to go back to the hamburger, and under Asset, I'm going to look for Properties. I'm going to come down to the different, uh, under Company Settings, HR Setup, Assets, Property. So we'll go here. Now this list, this list is where we can uh, list every laptop, every key fob, every security card that we have and then assign those to other employees. So um, we have uh, a type of asset right here. So if I add new, I'm going to say it's a key fob. And I'm going to put the ID on there, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, for name, entry, if I wanted to put a category on there, I can. Um, is it going to be in service, lost, damaged, stolen, or retired? We're going to leave it as in service. And uh, we can put a description and we can put that it can be assigned to more than one account. Well, this particular item, because it's a key fob, can only travel individually with each person. We've also got um, on here a serial number and a branch location. Those are things that we marked needed that were required. So I'm going to put in a serial number and my location is going to be central building. Okay. When I save that, now I have um, this particular item and as soon as I enter that I can go ahead and assign that to an employee so I can come in here and say you know what I just handed that to Ann uh, and there we go now once you have all of your assets added to the system you can come to this asset assignments report which is under HR maintenance and this actually comes up with a list of all the different assets, right? We can see 
cell phones, key fobs, laptop computers, we've got it grouped by the asset at the moment, but let's change that. Let's say we want to group that by the employee And when we group by employee, say we have uh, an employee who is exiting the company, we can then say, you know, I just want to see Paul's items, and I want to make sure that we get them all back. So this is where we can review those items, and we can come in and we can say, okay, we expect to have it returned on his last day of work, yada, yada, but it was actually returned on this date, right? Um, so if it's already been returned, then we can come back into the list and we can see, oh, Paul has returned everything, but we have this item for Josh Bronson that has been assigned. If that is going to be returned, then we can put an expected return date. When we do return it, we'll click the return asset. We'll put the actual return date, any comments, um, conditions, etc. And then we'll either change the status or we'll leave it in do not change. All right. Always reach out if you have any questions. This should get you started.